In this video, I'll be discussing a proposed $200 raise that may replace the cost of living adjustment, COLA, for Social Security, affecting various beneficiaries such as those receiving retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, spousal, and SSI benefits. I have comprehensive details on this matter, and I'll provide you with all the essential information you need. Let's dive right into it. I want to shed light on a recent development suggesting that the widely discussed $200 per month raise might potentially serve as a substitute for the annual COLA raises. It's an intriguing proposal that brings a new angle to our expectations for an increased monthly benefit. The idea of a $200 raise is something many have eagerly anticipated, but what sets this apart is the potential trade-off receiving the $200 raise at the expense of reducing or eliminating the COLA raises. This adds an interesting layer to the discussion, and while it may have some logical basis, it may not be entirely favorable. I bring this to your attention because it introduces a different perspective on what we've been advocating for. The video will delve into the specifics of this proposal, exploring the reasons behind considering a $200 raise, alongside a reduction in COLA raises. It's a nuanced topic that warrants careful consideration, and I'll be sharing the latest insights and opinions surrounding this potential change. Before we dive into the details, I want to express my gratitude for joining me. If you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe by hitting the button below the video. It's completely free and I'm committed to being your daily advocate, providing you with valuable information every day through these concise videos. Your support means a lot, and I'm here to assist you in any way I can. Feel free to leave a comment below, letting me know how I can serve you better. I'm eager to read your comments and provide the assistance you need. Now let's get back to our discussion. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on future videos. Now, on to the intriguing topic of the proposed $200 per month raise and its potential impact on replacing the cost of living adjustment, COLA. It's a thought-provoking concept that may raise some skepticism. You know the saying, smelling a rat? Well, that sentiment might resonate here. Nevertheless, let's delve into the specifics. The $200 raise is still on the table as outlined in the Social Security Expansion Act. But the twist lies in the possibility of foregoing the COLA in exchange for this monthly increase. At first glance, it might seem like a straightforward decision. Who wouldn't want an additional $200 without worrying about COLA fluctuations affecting other aspects like Medicare Part B premiums? However, the intricacy lies in the fact that recent COLAs have, on average, amounted to a $1.200 monthly raise for the typical Social Security beneficiary. It's a surprising revelation that might make us reconsider the trade-off. I'll explain the details shortly, as it's crucial to understand the implications before forming a definitive opinion. Stay with me as we unravel the complexities of this proposal, weighing the potential benefits against the drawbacks. Your insights and comments are valuable in shaping this conversation, so please feel free to share your thoughts below. Let's continue our exploration of this matter. Thank you for your engagement, and let's proceed. Looking back at the last couple of years, specifically the last two, it's noteworthy that the average Social Security beneficiary has experienced an effective $200 per month raise. Now consider this hypothetical scenario. Had the $200 raise been implemented while simultaneously reducing and eventually removing the COLA over two years, they would have essentially broken even. Anything beyond that, without COLAs, would put them ahead. It's a bit fishy, right? I share your sentiments and I'll break down the details for you. Before we proceed, I want to emphasize that as of now, the $200 per month raise has not been approved and there is no immediate removal of the COLA. However, it's essential to be vigilant because these proposals might be in the pipeline. The numbers and averages suggest that giving a $200 per month raise while eliminating the COLA could potentially benefit the system, as strange as it may sound. Let me walk you through the specifics. In 2023, there was an 8.8% COLA, resulting in an average increase of $144 per month for Social Security beneficiaries. Now, for 2024, with a 3.2% COLA, the average beneficiary is receiving an additional $1.54 per month. Adding these numbers together, we get $1.98 more per month. While it falls just $1.02 short of an even $1.200, it suggests that had the $1.200 raise been implemented around the end of 2022 or the beginning of 2023, they would essentially be at break-even for the average beneficiary. 
Now, consider individuals receiving benefits higher than the average, and you start to see the potential implications. It's a fascinating exploration into the numbers and averages, raising questions about the motivations behind such proposals. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the intricacies of this proposal, examining its impact on different segments of the beneficiary population. Your insights and comments are crucial, so feel free to share your thoughts below as we continue our discussion. Looking ahead, beyond 2024, the scenario suggests that the system would be in a favorable position. To put it more accurately, they would be in the black, signifying a positive outcome. While the phrase in the green might be a common expression, in this context, in the black is more fitting. In simple terms, it would be smooth sailing for them if the cola were no longer in effect. It's an intriguing concept, and it requires a thorough examination of all the details involved. Do you see the implications of this? Despite the ongoing request for a $1.200 raise, the perspective changes when you consider the impact of COLA over the past two years on the average beneficiary. It's almost as if the COLA itself has delivered a $1.200 raise within that time frame. Quite astonishing, isn't it? However, there's another aspect to consider. Let's look at those beneficiaries who receive amounts well below the average, perhaps around $1.600, $1.700, $1.900, $1,000, $1,200, or $1,300. The average benefit over the last couple of years has hovered around $1,650 to $1,850, depending on the inclusion of COLA. For those below the average, the story is different. They haven't experienced a $1.200 increase in their monthly checks over the past two years due to the percentage-based calculations of COLAs. In fact, for some, it may have amounted to only around $100, if they were lucky. This brings us to an interesting point that has been circulating in various articles and discussions. Some suggest the idea of simply offering a dollar two hundred per month raise, asserting that Social Security would actually come out ahead, especially during times of high inflation. The rationale is that in the long run, the compounding effect of COLAs, which increases benefits every year, could potentially be outweighed by a fixed dollar two hundred monthly raise. This is a complex topic, but the key is to understand that compounding works in favor of the beneficiaries, as the percentage is applied to higher benefit amounts each year. I hope this clarifies the intricacies of the situation. In conclusion, I wanted to bring this intriguing concept to your attention. The dynamics of a potential $200 raise versus the continued presence of COLA present a thought-provoking scenario. It's uncertain which direction this might take, but let's be realistic for a moment. While we're currently experiencing a period of high inflation in 2021, 2022, 2023, and 2024, it's unlikely to be a perpetual condition. Despite the short-term benefits, the question arises about the long-term implications. Considering the compounding nature of COLA over time, it might take a while for a fixed $1.200 raise to surpass the overall benefits provided by COLA increases. It raises the question of whether, in the grand scheme of things, the $1.200 raise could be more advantageous, not only for the beneficiaries, but also for the social security system.